Now the 6C was a two horse race this year between Park City and Plenty Coups boys. The Panthers won the conference by a half game, but Plenty Coup won the only meeting between the two. So what would give in the district title game tonight? Plenty Coup absolutely on fire to start. Julian Glenn buries the three from the wing. He scored 16. Then Brendan falls down, blocks it on one end. Warriors up court to Keelan Dillon, who hits from almost behind the backboard. Plenty Coup led 25-5 after one. Park City comes storming back. Connor McNeil pulls up. Panthers back within four, but the Warriors had just enough to hold on. Glenn again for three. He led the team, and Plenty Coup wins it. 70-63 tonight as they are your champs. Now, same scenario in the girls' championship. Plenty Coup and Bridger clearly the two best teams this season. Bridger up two at half, but here come the Coup in the third. Sephra covers up, hits the three. Then it's a sister game, Cecilia Stewart to Sylvie Stewart. She can't finish, but Cecilia cleans it up. Warriors win the third, 13-6. Bridger trying to climb back. Desiree Jones, Scott pulls up and hits the jumper. Eight points for her, but this was Plenty Coup's night. Up ahead, Talina stands over Bull. Not a good offensive showing from either team, but Plenty Coup will take the win nonetheless. 28-23, your final as they do sweep your championships. Now the 6 seed takes four teams to divisionals, so these four also moving on. Harlow Rygate's girls will be the three seed as they win the console game. Bridger's boys will be the three seed as they beat Broadview Levina in that consolation. 